are just about ready to start this adventure. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Him? Oh boy. So oh, last man. time we were here, you guys not only met Dazel's father, but made it to Lestalo. So to find the information, you split into two groups, one going to um, an outdoor marketplace while the other um, looks for information in the tavern. You find out a lot more than you were thinking. You've actually found the supposed group called the Windstrikers, who then proceed to beg you lot and, and lead you out of the tavern. But... We're going to ignore that group for now. And wah, wah. Time to meet. Go to the market. Um, wait. Oh, there we are. Oh, and I forgot someone. Who did you forget? Gwen. Oh, me. Sorry, when setting the, the page up, I accidentally forgot you. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I'm normally pretty forgettable. Was it Null with us too, or was no, Null no, back at the, the other group? Okay. Ah, uh, let's stall him. This theme is just awesome. Yep, you found your way into the the market where you see a bunch of stalls of people selling their wares. The smell of spices in the air. Even the smell of um, some some cooking stalls that have like um, kebabs ready, um, some like fresh fresh hot uh, flatbreads, the works. So what do you do? Oh wow! Oh wow! Colonel, you never told told us this was a cooking town. Everything never. smells divine. Ah. Uh, well. If any think about it, every place knows how to cook. <laughs> yeah, probably except for me. You're not a place, you're a person. Out of character. Damn it, sorry, I misunderstood that. Anyway, um, Cortana looks around going, uh, so Holnir, do you have an idea where to start? Pick any place you like. Just l listen for some gossip. Shouldn't be too hard, I think. What do we need to wall to listen for some gossip, Gat? Um, it'll be uh, oh. perception, however, it's going to be normal since now you're using your ears. Fair enough. Dang. Was not expecting that. Anyone else want to roll perception? I may as well. Oh, jeez. One off from a net, one off from a net twenty thing. And I got an eight. Um, alright, so Holonier, you can't really hear everything after like, except for like a bunch of stalls, um, um, yelling, like, fresh, fresh, we catch them, you buy them, and that sort of thing. Um, Quinn, you do hear a bit of gossip of guards uh, being pulled out of Listolum. Anything that we haven't heard before. Well, I'll say with this, you hear a very interesting conversation with these two. 
and also add a character in that comment of what have we haven't heard before you haven't heard that the guards were being pulled out of Lestala group one did you didn't oh, me that was just an inconsiderate and a rude comment just because yes you were listening in on group one that doesn't mean that Quinn heard everything Wait. You hear a very interesting conversation about with, with these two here. So the rumors are true? I'm afraid so, ma'am. It's like that with the, with the king nowadays. Either way. Let me know if you hit or anything else, just especially with the weird magic going around around the cake, the Callum area. Will do. Thank you for your business, man. Likewise. Anything else you guys want to do in the market? One, two, three. Please tell me I can hear everybody. Welcome yep. back. And, there we go. And we can hear you. I was in here earlier and tried speaking after a meeting, and it's like, uh, and there, and it's like, nope, can't even be heard because I saw your stuff lighting up. Sorry. He's okay. Yeah. So let's continue on. Yep. Everyone is exploring the market. Mm -hmm. Uh. You hear rum rumors of guards being taken out of Lestalem, and Quinn and Cortana overheard a man and a familiar-looking woman talking about um, s some unknown magic going around the Caleb area. For now, no comments from Ogren, so that will be for now, though. Um, Hon Honir, you get stopped by this man with, uh, really, um, ancient mask on his head. Hey, uh, dwarf. Is that drag mm -hmm. one in service to you? Oh, oh nah. We just met. He's a friend of a he's the father of an old friend. We just oh. got we he, we just met up and uh, he decided to stick around for a little bit. Oh I see. In that case, how much you like a job, young job, sir? A job? Yes. Handling a cart is busy work, and even though I've got a few dragonborns here to um, help out with the load, we could use an extra hand. Um, no, thank you. I don't do that. It pays for the good. Long hours, too. You don't get too many of those nowadays, especially for your kind. I'm good. Thank you. If 
with you. <coughs> Excuse me. His loss. Ah. Uh, 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 you know, you know how we are. We feel Kaldurians are frightful. <laughs> You're from there too, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. I am a Dalwi. I'm a dwarf. We all come from the mountain. Not all of us. He looks to the two dragonborns. Those two over there, they... They came pretty close... Close to Salius. Drilled them right out. Ah. Uh, dreadful tidings, the, this war is. Well, we work as hard as we can. Though, if I was, if I were you, I would put that, put the right born on a close, on a close, um, eyesight. Some people around here might want to try to buy him. Yeah, they'll be in a bit of surprise when they try to. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. You too. And enjoy life as it comes. Because you never know what life has in store for us, eh? Indeed. Should I make another perception check to listen in on anywhere, or...? Uh, sure. Alright. And Augman and Quinn can do the same. Got it. Fun fact, I'm actually going to be doing it in a way that's not... It's going to be listening... Oh wait, no, I don't have that in... So you went never mind. Perception... Give me a sec. Let me at least see if any others pop up first, so... Nope, and... Oh, give me a second. Okay, Quinn and Augman... You don't really hear much of anything, um... Long here, however, can hear, um... Some of the hearth, um, from the guy in front of him, like this... Pompous, rich man... Treating his dragon-born workers with a lot more pressure than the other guy did. Yeah, I'm half tempted to, to use that soundbite, but I'm not going to because I respect you. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds that. I shouldn't. I'm not going to say it because then you might play it, so. No, I. He's like one of those. Oof, oof, oof. Time is money. Put your backs in, into it, you lazy beasts. Good help is hard to come by these days. It's just me or are we getting the quiet group today? <laughs> Turned out to be interrupting, okay? Especially yes. since I just got here. Yeah, same. 
Um, uh, um. Oh. You're just gonna ignore the rich person. He wrote down his description in his notebook. That is his token. So, Cat knows how much of a Percy fangirl I am. How dare you disgrace him? Uh, I don't know what you're getting at, but that's not... That token is not Percy. That token looks like Percy. Have you not seen his art? Which one? This one? Or yes. this one? No. First one. Bam. Uh, I think Cat was talking about no. like this one. Yeah, this guy over here was the one with the pompous attitude, and this one is not Percy. Oh, I will send you pictures, but anyway. He looks like an older Percy, but either way. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway. Him, before I bring out Navi. <laughs> yep. I certainly hope you guys have a lot better luck than than we have. Let's I think we should go to a little secluded place to talk. Too many eyes. I mean back to the tavern? Most likely. Okay, give me a sec. That's the earring to let the those that are at the tavern only, trying not to include Trellis or Lorelai or anyone else that has the earring. Okay, guys, we're coming back. Hope you guys found something. Um, as soon as you said that, you hear a lot of uh, muffles on, on the other end. As the other party part of the party kind of got bagged already. Out of character. I know that out of character. In character. Now on I just mean at this point. At, at this point. Well. Because. I was going to catch the they were, talking the, to the they were talking to the wind strikers at the same time you were at the market. I know. I know. But now Armin hearing the muscles is going to pinch the bridge of his nose. And mutter. Where to God if we are. If we have another kind situation on our fucking hands. What happened? I think we just lost our allies. Come on. Give me a moment. Oh, Let's book it right back to the tavern. And Ogman just starts booking it back to the tavern. Alright, so... you, you start booking it back to the tavern. Well, the other party, give me one moment. Ooh. I'm a pass. I knew it! I miss Thank hearing you. this track. I miss hearing this track. I have Dark Brotherhood vibes from this. <laughs> I swear to God, if I was right, Cat, I will bop you with that rolled up thing of bubble wrap. It's been a while since we've heard this track. I love no, this hasn't. track! You guys get on back as you are tied to chairs. Ah, crud, we done goofed. I would be sarcastic at this point, but I don't think it's worth it. Because uh, if I was sarcastic, I would be proving you right. I would say that, yes. You have done good. Especially if you're not paying attention to Cassidy's ma protect magic. We know your kind. We know who you're working for. But if you come clean, it might go a little easy on you folks. 
First of all, who do you think we work for? Where else? The dragon, the, the dragon, dragon resistance that's in town. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We weren't, we weren't, jo we weren't joking about being against them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just your approach. It was going really well. Your approach was going really well. Gold star. Really great. Really beautiful. Very intimidating. Until you said a bold faced lie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> Is that in character? That is 100% in and out of character. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I think you better. Yeah, I think you better ease off the sarcasm because that could end us getting end us getting us killed. Oh god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or, I'm sorry. Or get your little friends killed. As he points towards the table, and you see two members holding Zuri and Avenger down on the table. Okay, I think you better ease off because uh, anything happens to. Uh, the uh, owl, you could make Nephrite very angry. Well, excuse me for trying to save the t trying to save our town. Wait a way. Well, you... We, we know you don't care about the town. We all know about your kind. Ready? Right? In fact, we um... we kidnapped a few of your friends back down in our little dungeon area. And if you don't want them getting hurt either, I suggest you start talking. Well, first of all, you better give me the names first. Well, they refuse to give their names. That's how pig-headed and prideful they are, of course. Heck, we even and, uh, have one of them killed themselves. Many what? others from killing themselves, but unless you want your heart to die, we suggest you give us what we want to know. Okay, okay, okay. Can we start from the beginning real quick, please? Do we have any in all misinformation? Pardon? Can we start from the beginning, please? Clear up any and all misinformation. If you even like, you can cast Dawn of Truth on us. Good to say we haven't cast Dawn of Truth on, on you already. Um, no, make an insight check, please. Okay. And I'm right by you, so if I need to. Let's make this funnier. Let's make this funnier. Turn that 19 into a 24. You look at Ven, and he gives a look to the pink hair lady like, please tell me you have that spell. She... She makes a slight shake of the head, not to try not to be noticeable, but it's clear she does not have zone of truth. I'll be perfectly honest. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to be as honest with you as possible, but in case you were associated with the liberation, I wanted to be a little as vague as possible, just to, just to we didn't blow our cover. your cover, even though you have the same type of magic as the Liberation, that is very unlikely. I apologize for that. I didn't want to... That was one bit of information I didn't want to divulge. I used to be part of them. But that was... I was an experiment as when many years ago, but I escaped about 13 years ago. It's a likely story. I assure you it's the truth. Tell that to this. As he hold up this giant lance, 
and it glows. This is the Dragon Lance, capable of killing any dragon. If, if you are who you say you are, then this should not have hurt, hurt as much, would it? Would you like to test that theory? Honestly, I have many friends that, that depend on me and If I were to die, my fiance would be very upset. Fiance? Uh, then? We're not supposed to really hurt any anyone, especially when there's a family. Shut, shut up. Not steady. We're gonna need the mom. The tension here. Sorry. I am just saying. All we want is a little formation. That is it. After that, you can go on your merry way and join your fiance or herd or however you, your dragon, dragon, the dragon resistant people put it. Look, I, I already I told you I'm not part of them anymore. I was. We came here to fight against them. That's why we were looking for you. famous here, but to come all the way to trouble looking for us, how do we know you're not really assassins? Honestly, I have no proof of that. All I give you is my word of honor. Someone who also as a pursuer of justice for many years. Did you not hear stories of a bunch of traveling heroes known as Gindora and Moritora? do it it wasn't by choice all I want is to free the ones that were taken as well just like I was when I was young just don't want to see anyone suffer anymore Make a persuasion roll. 
Okay. And I got two left if we need to make these funny. Let's try to save them as much as possible. Gotcha. Yep. I'll be fine. Okay. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Thank you, John Cena. <laughs> anyway. But I'm trusting his judgment on this one. If he says a 21 works, a 21 works. I'm not gonna harp. Uh, this comes closer to you, like, uncomfortably close. And puts the dragon, like, lance just under your neck. Before lifting it up, saying... Really are part. You really want to, to help us against this dragon resistance. Yes. This is our group, Nimia. Wait, you guys are from Nemia? One of us. Hi. And you see this red hat girl come up and going, How is Namia doing? It's been it's been months since I've been been there ever since the guilds got locked down. Well, they're free now. A couple of the old guild masters had to change out due to a trial, thanks to the one city that shall not be mentioned within this group because hi, I respect you all. And the Guildmaster actually has a new law in place for in and out, incoming and outgoing commissions. Really? Mm hmm. Oh, oh thank you. And, thank Ogma. and one last thing. Wait, you're a follower of Ogma too? Well, duh. Well, duh. I used to be part of a guild. Which one? Uh, give me one second. You think I have half the, the stuff prepared? <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Uh, <laughs> Kat, you yeah. probably got my whisper to the D to the GM. Yeah, I mean, I hey, he... you gave Nefred a friend from her yeah, childhood yeah. home. One yeah. name to another. <laughs> I'm from the Clamor Clamor. Get out of town. Hi, neighbor. I'm from the Crystal Forge. And, by the way, and she actually does the gesture of come here real quick. I'm one of the current co-diamonds of the Crystal Forge. Do you mind letting me and my friends go real quick? Sylvie. You're making us look bad. And all of a sudden, you guys hear like a crash right behind you guys, right in front of you guys, and behind them. Let me guess. A, a, a war cry as well? Yep. Well, there's our cavalry. Which direction? North, south, north, south, east, or west? North, and I'm just gonna light up the room now. Oh, brother. Asante, Sana. Thank you, Kat. Yep. Yeah. And pretty much every tension in the room <laughs> gone right out the window. As Ben's going, Ugh. there it. This is why I told you to told you to guard the door, Petra. Sorry. Ugh. Hey, with all due respect, you had us on the ropes there for a second. Nice job. And that's not me being sarcastic. I'm actually being genuine. Put the blade down if you don't want to die. Ogden, easy does it. 
avoid this. Please tell me this isn't another Quen situation, because if it is, I can and will just start blasting. It... Uh, Ogman Gel, current leader of the Black Claw Clan. You really think we wouldn't know that if we were copies? Right. Well, thank you for that. He's yeah. leader of the Black Claw Clan, but I well, easy, does. Easy, easy, easy. The old leader is dead. My dad's dead. You're talking to the guy that killed him. As well as the people that assisted after he did a little something crazy that got him. Well, let's just say breaking plan laws. Mm. Huh? The guy was a jerk, basically. Yep. That's easy to understand. So now that we have the rest of the group that can give you more information, can we please, pretty please, let the original three go, have a nice little chat over some tea, maybe some coffee, get some proper introductions out of the way, and then we can start getting some plans in order. Please? Fine. Uh, then pretty much now his fingers and the rest and the and you, the teenagers untie your clumsy ropes like seriously guys you guys could have done like a strength check to just break out the ropes easy these are not I know what I want to these are not professionals at this <laughs> I wanted to give them some I wanted to give them some courage they were on a roll Soundwave, I'm Atticatus. Soundwave, I'm sorry, but they failed at that when they didn't when they didn't even have a guard at the door. I know. And that and that's guarding 101. You try guarding a door for six days in a row and see how easy it is. That's why I made the comment. That's why I made the out of character comment. <laughs> <laughs> At least you already know how to guard a, do guard a door, especially with our situation when during our Gwen incident. So, yeah. That was oh. out of character. Oh, sorry. But in any case, introductions first, or shall we put on a kettle and start some coffee and tea? Um, we don't really do drinks around here. That's why we always go to the tap to the tavern for drinks. Very well, introductions it is. My name is Nephrite. As your colleague has noticed, I am from Nemia and I am the current co diamond of the Crystal Forge. The kind gentleman that you have so rudely threatened with the Dragon Lance is my dear friend Nal Rumak. And I am letting him introduce himself first. Yes, uh, I am. Yes, I was a captive of the Dragon Liberation, along with six others. But uh, like I said, the uh, the three were captured and uh, were, were captured by Boss, and we're trying to find the others. One, another one escaped, but well, that can be for a discussion later. And the other gentleman that you had tied up is another dear friend of mine named Alij. He is a he is a prior soldier and a very strong and a very strong spellcaster, I must add. Don't forget he is BRB. Yes, I know. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the devil, he just gets back, so. <laughs> Introductions? Are there any specific questions you have for me, or is it introductions? It's just general given? introductions for now. Just general introductions. You can be nice. They're not going to hurt us anymore. Hopefully. I believe that Frank did a good enough job now. And por que percepciono? Just to see if he, if Holdir notices the weapon racks over here. 
You do, but they're not like top grade weapons at in any sort. They're like stuff you would find more in a recycling bin than uh, a natural soldier wielding them. Umgek. Bloody Umgek. I am not translating what my friend said. I will uh, put the translation. Yeah, I know what you said because you said <laughs> the word before. You translated it before. Nefra is just being respectful and saying, I am not translating what my friend said. Sideways, thank you for not trans- Adagata, thank you for not translating. Continuing, and, though. And may we have your names? Well, we have a lot of them. My name is Ben, also known as uh, Ventus. Um, this one over here is Sylvie. We have Tak. Get the power of Juju. Shut up! <laughs> Jovial stole what I was gonna do, but I was going to respectfully not say it. I said it in my head, though. Good timing, though. We have Fayu. We have Winamu. Raven Esper. Petra. Lysik, Bog, Cassidy, Ethan, and Raven. Omen is just at the top of the stairs, so he's probably just hearing all of... He's not at, like the tippy top, he's just within the room, but at the top of where these steps here. So, Ventus, bring it up. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. Didn't one of our old friends know someone that had that name? Or tell me I'm wrong. No, you're right. I believe. I believe you are correct, but that's a follow-up question for him. Uh, Ben, would you happen to know a paladin named Avelios? Avelios? Yeah. He and I train together a lot. Kicked my butt a couple of times too. How is he? Oh wait, no, he's he's with Aqua right now. He messaged me about that earlier. I gave a message to Terra about that. He did mention something about a party. It. Oh no, 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 no! Don't tell me you guys are it. Hello. <laughs> uh huh. Ding 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 ding! You win a prize. Uh, that prize is not done. He and Aqua are going to kill me. Well, let's let's just... We won't tell if you won't tell. So, is my part of the agreement good, everyone? That sounds good. Yeah. Hey, if I may ask, by any chance, are you uh, an attack first and ask questions later type of guy? Well, they don't call me the wind striker for nothing. I would just point that hole there as like a similar person. Not 100% similar, but similar. But at this point, and, I'm, I'm more of the like Inquisition, I guess you would say. I came here because. Because I knew Avilios lived here, here before he was sent to us. So, I thought it would be the best place to find him if he was, since he was lost for a couple of months. Then reports have happening with dragonborns disappearing, the people disappearing. And now, and now the striking rumor that people actually transform into dragonborns. And no one else has taken it seriously, so I started off this little group here. Oh, trust me, I have a crazy plan to deal with their leader from what we know of. 
and thankfully I've been keeping it from one of our allies that really seems to read people well like a book. And he is playfully teasing Cortana. Yeah, Cortana gives him a, a look. Tell me I'm wrong. And since you brought up uh, people, <coughs> people turning into, into dragonborn-like creatures, it's best you know that I'm one of those who can do that. But I, I assure you, I, so far as I know, I won't be. Here, yeah, trust me, I'm on your side. Sorry, I had to word. I, I was, uh, I was figuring out how to word it. You're fine. You're fine. Mm-hmm. You're fine. Me. Well, forgive me if I still keep my my lance at the ready. Trust me when I say this, he could have killed me at every single opportunity possible. And besides, your little dragon sword could hurt him, but if you hurt him, you're going to have to go through. He then starts counting Nefrite, Elise, Cortana, Quen, all near himself. You'll have to go through most of us here. Incidentally, um... And then, and then, you, then you'd have to go through whole near again, because <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, Ven, I there was something I learned about not too long ago before we got here. Someone else apparently had escaped from the liberation. Well, they did good, good for them. Uh, unfortunately, well, I don't know if too many people from the liberation, so I don't know if any of any escaped or where are they now. Yep, kind of but uh, maybe to you here to tell me. No, but uh, I, it would be best if, well, maybe if you, maybe you might have heard their name. And what is their name? Uh, from what I've been told, her name was Luna Noah. Luna Noah. Uh, sorry, haven't heard anyone by that name. Darn it. Are you thinking that a description might help? Honestly, I don't remember what she. I don't think I ever saw what she looked like. It's if I even if I did, it would have been thirteen years ago. You know, thirteen or fifteen years ago. I she would have. Looked a lot different by now. Fair enough. <sighs> Nuts. But it was a good try. Yeah. She may not be here with them, but she's. She may not be here with them, but she could still be here in Lestalem alone. It would be kind of difficult if we don't know what she looks like. Could have even. I'm still kicking myself that I didn't even bother to ask Nash what what she looked like or what her abilities are like. Heck, I could have even asked about Alex and Jessica. The hindsight, it's hindsight and all, and you've forgotten at the moment. And that's not to be upset about. That makes you human. I know. If it's. If it's possible, maybe you... I can't think... Never mind. And we have Uba poofing in. <laughs> Yay, Uba! Oh, no. Uba's been here this whole time. He was just invisible. Ninja That's why I said poofing in. Even though he was invisible and nobody could see, poof into vis- poof into p- visibility. We need cuteness. <laughs> in the mean, in the meantime, um, Sylvie has gone over to Avenger and, and Zuri, and you know, taken a closer look at their um, um. Metal work.
There he goes. Crystal Forge. Always coming up with the crazy yet amazing stuff. We try. So when are we opening it? Thank you. 